Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel Logic Medico. Today's interesting topic is wrist movements. Wrist joint is a ellipsoid type of synovial joint. It has got four basic movements that is a flexion, that is a bending of the wrist, extension of the wrist, abduction that is movement away from midline of the body and adduction. combination of these four is called circumduction but these are the four basic movements possible in the wrist joint so in this wrist joint flexion is approximately 70 degree it's caused by flexor group of muscles which cross the anterior surface of the wrist joint which include the flexor carpi radialis palmaris longus flexor carpi ulnaris flexor digitorum superficialis and profundus the extension of the wrist is caused by extensor group of muscles and that is also approximately 70 degrees the extensor muscles are extensor digitorum extensor indices extensor digiti minimi extensor pollicis longus and brevis come to the most interesting point that is abduction of the wrist those muscles which are on the lateral aspect of the wrist can cause abduction of the wrist but the abduction is limited only to around 20 degrees that is because the radial styloid process the bone which is projecting here the radial styloid process is more projecting 5 mm more projecting than the ulnar styloid process those muscles which are causing abduction will be there on the lateral side of the wrist which are the flexor carpi radialis extensor carpi radialis longus extensor carpi radialis brevis this abduction of the wrist is also called ulnar deviation because the wrist is deviating towards the ulna whereas abduction of the wrist is called radial deviation because the wrist is deviating towards the radius you can clearly see the abduction is limited whereas adduction is not limited because as already mentioned the ulnar styloid process is shorter by 5 mm when compared to the radial styloid process the muscles which are there on the medial side of the wrist causes adduction of the wrist which include flexor carpi ulnaris and extensor carpi ulnaris so adduction of the wrist is approximately 30 to 40 degree these are the basic movement of the wrist and the muscles causing them and the structures limiting and the anatomical basis for it thank you for watching and learning from logic medico for more such videos kindly subscribe to our channel and support us by pressing the thumbs up icon thank you my